friends in this video we are going to observe management of a heart cataract with 5 mm people this is the main incision with the 2.8 mm steel keratome and now two side ports are made this is on side port on the right side and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then trypan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and now a little bit of adrenaline is administered into the anterior chamber to see if the people dilates little more but in this case the people didn't dilate with application of adrenaline so this is a 5 mm rigid people viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber it is applied over the cornea for better visibility and now is the time to do capsulorexis in this case i used a 26 gauge band needle to incise the anterior capsule and a raise of big capsular tag which can be held easily with the iterata forceps and now i go along the border of the people all around to get a people a rexis of adequate size rexis of about 5 mm and now you can see this is a hard nucleus there is no red glow this is a hard brown or grayish brown nucleus very small amount of fluid is injected and now the nucleus is rotated and now this is tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical matter is removed then the handpiece is turned bevel is up towards the corneal endothelium and now i'm going to do a direct job by my technique submarine job the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus the chopper supports the anterior surface of the nucleus the tip goes through the substance towards the opposite equator and now it is chopped the nucleus is rotated on 180 degree and the two heminuclei are completely separated from each other see how quickly we have divided the nucleus into two heminuclei each heminucleus is subdivided into two big pieces this is one heminucleus subdivided into two large fragments rotate and now each in this case i didn't go to the other heminucleus i'm trying to manage these two pieces first Yes, this piece has been subdivided into smaller two smaller pieces and it is being emulsified and removed. Faco power used in this case is 80%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury. The machine being used is Faro's with spip mode from Ortley, Switzerland. the chopper is 
designed by me it is known as mohanta chopper it is available commercially this is the other hemineucleus it is this nice crack but two pieces are still not free they are joined to each other at the central part uh, a tilt the two pieces apply some energy here and the two pieces get separated and now ultrasonic energy is applied and each nuclear piece is emulsified and removed friends in this case the antechamber was very stable there was no surge the posterior capsule was far behind at this time i am in speep mode where we can control the, the vacuum when the tip is occluded and this is a very safe software yes nucleus and epinucleus has been managed now after injecting some visco the cortex is being removed with the help of this instrument a 23 simco in my hands and i believe in many colleagues hands this instrument is safer than by manual whenever you catch the posterior capsule or capsular material and you pull the you have to release it and that at that time the response time with this simco is faster so after injecting visco this is a monofocal foldable intraocular lens and it is going into the capsular bag this is an edited video the surgery took 13 minutes it has been shortened to 9 minutes and now the visco that has been used for implantation of intraocular lens is being removed nicely at this time i'm going behind the lens and irrigating the capsular bag very nicely whatever visco is trapped behind the intraocular lens is removed very nicely and this is irrigation and aspiration together and now this is a bit of moxie now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration corneal stroma on either side of the side port is hydrated and the side ports closed this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and the chamber is formed nicely integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence